heard that song, it was just, I, it, it was one of those songs that just get in your head, you know, it just stays there. So we're just about to conclude here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up, and then we're gonna all gonna get together. And we're gonna start our march. Um, first of all, I just want to share just a few thoughts about this event before we before we get out set out to do that. There's a 16th century poet that a lot of you guys might be familiar with. His name is John Donne. He was um he was he was famous for most famous for his poetry, but also has a fair bit of written prose as well. The quote that I'd like to share from him is from his 16th meditation called For Whom the Death Bell Tolls. It begins, No man is an island, entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a cloud be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less. As well as if a promontory were. As well as if a manner of thy friends or of thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the death bell tolls, it tolls for thee. If someone dies, it concerns me, because I am involved in humankind. We all participate in humanity. We share the responsibility to care for our own. But let me ask you, who is our own? We're gathered here at our Vimy Ridge Memorial on Vimy Ridge Day, a day set aside to remember the countless Canadians who gave their lives, paying the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. For them, they understood that their own included members outside of the country or nationality as they fought with the Allied forces. Today, we remember their sacrifice and the legacy they left behind. We remember their stand for liberty, justice, and democracy. And remember that our own includes both those at home, because we are such not perfect, and the countless innocent suffering at the hand of cruel dictators around the world. Symbolically, those pages that are torn from our story b before their time are translated into a higher language. They do not cease to be part of us. They do not cease to be connected to us. And therefore, we should still remember them. When did they cease to become human to us? When did the distance between us become a reason for us not to act? I would argue that it is not the distance that separates us. It is removing them from our thoughts and our lives. <laughs> Consider South Korea, who are just as free as we are, yet also feels this, virtually the same separation to the same extent that we do, even though they are only a few kilometers apart. So I want to thank each person who came here today to come to bridge that gap. For Phoenix Christ and for the use of your talents to bring them back into public thought. For all of you who came, showed your support. For all of you holding the signs. Because this contributes to bridging that gap and to being part of them, to participate in their lives and in their struggle. No person is an island entire of itself. Every person is a part of the continent, a part of the main. So now as we stand to begin our walk, hold, it, hold your signs high, and you with the banners, hold them with pride. Because today we are making a statement that no Korean person hiding in China is an island. No person who has been repatriated, tortured, and beaten because of an attempt at freedom is an island. No woman who has been raped in fears Forced abortion is an island or any child who has been forced to watch a public execution. So we stand and we say that enough is enough, and we call on our government to follow in its greatest legacy to continue to fight for freedom, liberty, and justice for all humanity. I conclude with the words of Thomas Jefferson. Every generation needs a new revolution. Okay. I'm gonna bring Do you wanna hold this?